So this morning I was thinking, man, is this the end of motion capture suits as we know it, right? In the age of AI and robotics, is there room for uh, motion capture suits? And then this morning I came across this video from Tesla, the Tesla robot. They were showcasing the updated, you know, manipulation on what the robot will be able to do. But something caught my eye, guys. Something caught my eye. As they were showing this, uh, the data being collected and as the robot is uh, navigating its environment. But this right here is what caught my eye. So they are using a, an Xsense link suit, right? And they're using Manus gloves to train this data, I mean the robot. So they have the cameras over here. I, I, this is a really a good application for motion capture suits. And I was really wondering like in the age of Wonder Studio and Wonder Dynamics, where you can capture, you know, mock-up uh, using video, just, you know, footage. So in this case, um, you would wonder why didn't they use just footage of a human being doing this, right? Why didn't they just uh, record human beings going through the same process of what this uh, person is doing to train? Because right there he says training AI from human demonstrations. Why didn't they just use video just like we are using in Wonder Studio? And I think this is where the application of uh, data collection comes handy. In the, in the current, uh, in the present and maybe in the near future, there's still going to be need for motion capture suits. <laughs> I think Tesla is showing us this because Tesla has so many resources. I mean, they, they have a really good research, research and, and development team that they would, uh, they, I'm sure they are aware of uh, the technology that, for example, Wonder Dynamics is using on Wonder Studio and they could easily have used footage. But there's something cool that's happening here because you can see the human being has a, a camera system that's recording the hand gestures of this uh, person and that data is being recorded onto this computer but there's also data being collected from the body of the human being right so in the hands the robots need that data in order for robots and ai to get better you need a source of data like a database and so in this case they are capturing mock-up data using this human being which they can then use to train the robot so that the robot can learn from that data to get better and do better as it interacts. So as a human being, so imagine if he was jumping up and down, climbing a wall, sitting down, navigating the environment here. I mean, you could use cameras to sense all that and maybe in the future that's what's going to be happening where the robots will not need any of that, you know, but currently, I think I see where the application of motion capture suits comes handy here. And especially when you have a motion capture suit that has gloves with it. And so this is really handy and you can see the camera is recording. And now this is the Eureka moment as the robot, the Tesla robot lands and then starts manipulating and handling things just like the human did. I think this is really cool. See how it's getting better? <laughs> so that's what I wanted to share with you guys this morning that uh, in as much as yes the technology is advancing and AI is taking over in terms of motion capture for the face and for the body uh, it looks like there are some use cases for motion capture suits and in this case scientists are using this uh, they're using the uh, this uh, the Xsense suit to be able to capture data to feed the robot so that the AI can learn from that information, right? And the Manus gloves have such good dexterity that it works really well as a one-to-one. -one. So I'm sure this is gonna be like, maybe this is like a, a 3D print model that they can use to make sure it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And then the data as the system is capturing for the eyes and the body and the head movement and the bending over, training their data for motion capture. So now, of course, we are not, all of us are not building robots. <laughs> we are not Tesla for sure. We don't have the resources for Tesla. But I think there's, this is where the application of uh, uh, the use of motion capture suits is still going to be needed in, in niche cases like this, right? So that's just what, something I wanted to share with you guys. As you're thinking about doing your short film, you know, there are cases where you still may need a motion capture suit. You know, because 
not uh, Wonder Studio may not be able to capture every single thing. There are some custom motions that you probably would need now, and because and of course the technology is gonna improve, and the the server systems and the you know cloud systems are gonna get faster, because you have to wait a, a quite lengthy time before the footage comes back from you to you from uh, Wonder Studio, but when you need feedback like immediate feedback, I think that's where motion capture suits come handy. And so hopefully, you know, motion capsules will also catch up where it's much easier, you know, to put on and to put off, <laughs> right? But uh, it's interesting to see how the technology is being applied. And I think this is a really eye-opening uh, for me in terms of how Tesla is using a, a motion capture suit to create a database of uh, mock-up data that they, that they can be to use the AI to train on. And <laughs> Terminator, <laughs> it's like... Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys, today. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, a big thank you to all the patrons out there. Guys, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. And always look around. Keep your head up and see how the technology is evolving so that you can utilize it. And Tesla is doing it, right, for sure. So, well, let's continue to be aware of how the technology is evolving, but also think outside of the box as how this technology could be used and how you could also use it. So, if you can't if you're not in the beta testing program for Wanda Studio, there's still need for mock-up out here. And that's where the motion capture suits come handy. <laughs> I think it's going to crash. It did not crash the egg. It was actually, that's neat. <laughs> Stay safe as, uh, I guess, a Skynet and Tesla uh, working on this. It's so cool and also scary at the same time. Very, very concerning, but... Also, <laughs> as a techie, as a nerd, as someone interested in science fiction, this is interesting to see how science fiction is becoming like reality, right? So cool, All right? Stay safe, guys, and as always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. I'm praying for you as always. Bye for now. <laughs>